Hello, good day and welcome back to Josu. My name is Edwin and on this video, I'll be showing you how to do all the connections and then the mode of operations of the Jupiter laser ROTK receiver. So unlike the other normal uh, receivers, the Jupiter is, a, is an ROTK receiver that has both the laser function and then the camera function for ARO sticking out. So we are going to turn on the equipment, do all the various modes of connection and then how to conveniently make use of the equipment without getting stuck or without having issues with the site. So do well to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and even on Twitter at Yoso Technologies. Also like, share, comment your suggestions about this video and also what you like to see on our next video. And most important, make sure you subscribe and then turn on the notification buttons to get notified when we post a new video. Let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so for the mode of connection, the first thing we are going to show you is how to connect your Jupiter to your base station. So how to work base and rover mode using the Jupiter. And now for our second GNSS, we are using the N5 receiver. So we are going to set it up on the base station and then connect using an uh, internal radio. So first off, let's set up our base station. So I'm going to turn on the base receiver. Okay, it's on now. See, uh, for our internal radio mode, we are using the whip antennas. So if we plugged already, we've set up our base. We've measured the height of instrument to be 1.72. Then we we'll carry on and so forth as we we'll move. So for the application we are using for this exercise as well is also the Survey Master GNSS uh, application. So we will launch the application and then the first thing we'll do is to create a project. And when I go to project, I'll click on new and then type in the name of my project as a Jupiter test. And then from here, I will go to select my coordinate system, which is the Lagos Vector 4 coordinate system. And then I'll click on okay, Jupiter test. Let me add to, to it. So we already have something like that. The next thing we are doing is to go to our uh, connection page, our device page, and then click on connection, and then connect to our base receiver. So this is the serial number for our base receiver. There, then it's connected. Device connected, base, internal radio. So to set up the base, we'll click on base, and then see our uh, uh, work mode, but for that we'll, we'll change, we'll, uh, we'll use a new work mode, so we'll cl click on new and then click on internal radio. Since we are using radio mode to connect, protocol is going to be transparent. And then the power is two watts, which is the highest. We are going to switch to channel, channel five. And then we'll click on confirm. Now, you know, if you have the coordinate of the base station, you need to change the start mode to fixed position. But for this test, we are just using auto base. So it will just generate coordinates of the base station and then we we'll use it for our setup. So we we'll change it back to auto base. Click on save. And then we'll save as a internal radio auto. Internal radio auto base. So we created our work mode. We just is selected now we we'll just click on start to configure the base the base receiver all right so we'll finish setting up the base if you check in the front of the screen you can see that it's, it's showing the transfer indicator meaning it's sending the correction signal that's now so you can now disconnect click yes to disconnect from Device the base and then connected. connect to our rover now another thing we would like to point out is uh this is a jupiter uh, rtk receiver so it has laser and then it has a camera feature now if you are connecting using the normal bluetooth mode of connection it can it can only work as a normal rtk laser receiver so the rtk 
will be working perfectly. The laser will also work, but for you to make use of the camera feature of the of the receiver, you have to connect using Wi-Fi. So ordinarily, if you come to connection, you click your device model is ROTK and the connection type is Bluetooth, and then you click on target device. So this is our Jupiter, the serial number for our Jupiter, meaning we can connect with Bluetooth and then it will connect. Device connected. Rover. See, it's connected. Radio. It's connected using Bluetooth. Now, if we go to a normal topo survey, see we can. Oh, well, first of let's first of all set up our rover to connect to the base station. So we we'll go to rover, modify our internal radio setup, we we'll change the protocol to transparent, and then change the channel to channel five. The same setup we did for the base. Click on save and then apply. So we've applied the setup for our rover, the same setup we applied on the base and as you can see on the screen, we have a float solution now. If I need to adjust the height of this. Next. We want to use a 1.7 as the height. So, oh sorry. Okay, you can use 1.7 as the height. So as you can see, our uh, rover is fixed, connected to our base station. Now, if we go to Topo Survey, you see on the right, the IMU is there, meaning we can do our normal survey using IMU. We just need to shake the receiver. See, IMU is working for, uh, perfectly well. I can also turn off IMU and then turn on the laser. Check, now the, the laser is on. The laser on the receiver is on but the only limitation to connecting using bluetooth is that we cannot access the camera of the receiver when we are connected with bluetooth so we have to go back to connection go back to device click on connection sorry let's turn off the laser before we go turn off the laser so if we go back to connection disconnect the bluetooth connection uh, the device model is still going to be uh, ROTK, but the connection type will now be Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. So to be able to connect through Wi-Fi, we will now go to target device again, and then we we'll go and look for the device. So we we'll turn on our Wi-Fi, and when you turn it up, it will start searching for available Wi-Fi signal. So this is the Jupiter receiver showing there as Jupiter J11L. So also click on it. Is trying to obtain the IP and then it's connected, so we can now go back to our serving master. Connected. See, Fixed. it's connected. Rover. It's Internal connected radio. using Wi-Fi. If you go back to connection, you see our device model RTK connection type Wi-Fi target device Jupiter. So when we come back to Topo Survey and then click on Laser, see the camera icon is now showing. So. At this point, we can use the laser function of the camera to point where we want to get the coordinate C. You see the laser showing. The laser is showing on the screen now. I mean, the camera is showing now. And then the green point on the screen is where the laser is pointed to. So if I want to pick the coordinate of that point where the laser is, the green mark is, I'll just click on my normal survey and then it will give me the coordinate of the point. So that's how to connect using uh, the first connection we've done now is to connect base and rover set using a uh, internal radio uh, work mode so now we want to we want to connect to a call station and then we we'll also show you how to connect to a call station so first off we are going to uh, turn off our laser the laser is on already so we'll turn it off also you can use your imu if you are working, if you are connected with Wi-Fi, you can do every other thing you do when you when you connect with Bluetooth. The only extra advantage that the Wi-Fi connection has is that you cannot access the camera when you connect with Wi-Fi. So I'm turning off my IMU, so I will go back to connection, disconnect Device from disconnect from our Jupiter, go back to 
Bluetooth and then connect to my base receiver. So I will stop. I will stop the connection, or I can just come here and turn it off manually. So my base receiver is off. Now for this setup, I want to do the same mode of connection: Wi-Fi, Jupiter. Device connected. Connected. Fix. Rover. Internal radio. It's still showing fixed, but it will it will go back to float since we've turned off the base. It will go back to float anytime soon. Not See, fixed. it has gone it has gone off because there's no base there's no base sending any correction again. Now we want to connect to cost station. Now what you need to note when you want to connect your Jupiter to a cost station is that ordinarily if you want to connect to a cost station you need to have a sim card inside your receiver or you can put the sim card on your data logger so this is the sim card port you insert the sim card and then you use a pda course mode of connection if the sim card was inside your receiver you use internal gsm and it will connect to your call station if the sim card is on your data logger you use a pda course let's go to rover click on new and then see the different types of data link now for Internal GSM, I said you have to put the SIM card inside your receiver. But for Jupyter receivers, there is no SIM slot inside the receiver. So if you check on our screen here, there is no uh, option for internal GSM. We only have radio and then PDA calls. PDA calls means you are using the internet from your data logger. So it works in two ways. It's either you have SIM card inside your data logger or you can on your mobile hotspot or your Wi-Fi or your MiFi and then you connect through Wi-Fi and then you start accessing the internet and then you can connect to your call station. Now, but another disadvantage or another issue is that since you are connecting your data logger to the Jupyter receiver using Wi-Fi, you cannot connect your data logger again to another hotspot, meaning your data logger cannot connect to more, more than one hotspot device at a time. So, what you need to do is you need to have a SIM card inside your data logger. So if we go back to connection, I think we are connected to we are connected to the receiver already. We are using Wi-Fi mode of connection. And go back to rover. And then this is our this is our uh, course setup, boutique adjust course setup. If we modify, see our data link here is showing as PDA course our protocol is called since we are connected to a call station and then we have our IP address the port number the username and the password what you just need to do is to download your source list and then you select the mount point which is the course the base station you are connecting to so we are using Otika jar now so I will select on Otika jar click on confirm and then save it now since I already have SIM card if you check my mobile data is on showing 4g since i already have sim card here i can just apply my setup it will use the sim card the internet from the sim card to connect my Jupyter receiver to my call station and then i can start my work PDA course. see it's connected now it's float now the base warning changes because we've switched from this base station to another base station which is our call station and that's why it's giving me, giving me this one change. So I will just click on OK. See, my rover is fixed already. If I come to Topo Survey, I can turn on, uh, I can use my IMU for tilt compensation. If I don't want to use IMU, I can use my laser. And while using the laser, I can also turn on my camera view since I'm using Wi Fi mode of connection. OK. Another thing is if you if you don't want to use if you if you don't want to use the camera feature of the equipment you don't you don't have to worry about connecting with Bluetooth. you can just turn off the laser oh sorry let's turn that off you can just do your connection using using uh, disconnect let's say you don't have sim card on your data logger you can just change your mode of connection back to bluetooth connect to your receiver Connected. Now we are connected with Rover. Bluetooth, and then you now connect your Wi-Fi to your hotspot. So going to connect to my hotspot. Now see, I've connected to my internet, my Wi-Fi uh, 
a Wi-Fi uh, internet, so I cannot use this. Let me turn off my mobile data. See, my mobile data is off, so I cannot use this to connect my Jupiter to my core station as well. It's connected fixed. and it's fixed. I can still go back to Topo Survey and do my normal survey. I can use my IMU. I can turn off IMU and also use laser. But then, since I'm connecting with Bluetooth, the camera function will not appear. So this this is how to do your different connections, the different mode of operations, and how to do your setup of the Jupiter laser uh, ROTK uh, receiver. So thank you very much for staying with us. We hope that you like, share comment your suggestions about the video and also your questions as well and what you would like to see on our next video. Goodbye and uh, see you another time.